Hello and welcome back to Nerd Doc. In this video, we're going to cover the science of Moonfall. There will be Moonfall spoilers, but if you do not wish to be spoiled, you can check out our spoiler-free review linked below. We're going to talk about the end of the film and some of the big reveals. You can find details on all of that in our Moonfall plot and ending video, also linked below. Moonfall is still only in theaters, so we can't show you direct footage, but we'll do our best, so bear with us. There's a lot of bad science in Moonfall, so much that we can't cover it all here. This video will mainly focus on the Dyson Sphere, alien megastructures, the hollow moon theory, and related topics. We'll make brief mentions of some other science issues in the film, but those topics will be the main focus of this video. If you'd like to see us break down every science issue in Moonfall, leave a like and a comment and we'll look into it once the movie is out on digital and Blu-ray. In Moonfall, Casey Hausman is a self-proclaimed megastructurist and believes that not only is the moon an alien-made hollow object, but that it houses a Dyson Sphere. Alien megastructures and Dyson spheres are basically one and the same. As a civilization grows, so do their power needs. Once a planet's resources have reached its limit, an alien civilization could harness the power of a star by surrounding it with what is essentially a massive solar panel array. Theoretically, an entire city could be built around a star, which is what the moon is in Moonfall. At the center of the moon in Moonfall, a Dyson sphere surrounds a white dwarf star. It makes sense that a white dwarf is used because it's estimated that over 97% of the stars in our galaxy will eventually become white dwarfs. This is the final evolutionary state of most stars. For instance, our own sun will eventually expand as it turns into a red giant, then after about a billion years, it will collapse into a white dwarf. Where Moonfall gets it wrong is that while a white dwarf is small, the smallest known white dwarf being slightly larger than our own moon, it would still have a mass of nearly equal to our own sun. Imagine if the sun were sitting in the same position as our moon. Just its gravity alone would have a very negative impact on Earth, assuming it could even survive a situation like that. Spoilers, it wouldn't. Even though the white dwarf in Moonfall is much smaller than any white dwarf we've actually found, the mass would still have much more impact on the Earth than what we experience now. And as the moon got closer, the Earth would be torn apart long before it ever reached our atmosphere. Also, most of the falling moon rocks that hit the Earth in Moonfall would be the equivalent of nuclear bombs instead of the small explosions we see in the film. In reality, most of those rocks would level a small city with ease. The hollow moon theory is a moderately popular conspiracy theory that has been around for a while. The H.G. Wells book, The First Men in the Moon, highlighted this theory in 1901. It's similar in nature to the hollow Earth theory seen in science fiction as recently as Godzilla vs. King Kong. In Moonfall, Casey mentions that the moon rang like a bell for an hour when the Apollo 12 mission deliberately crashed one stage of their lunar module into the surface. This is true, and NASA did describe it in that exact way. However, there are moonquakes just like there are earthquakes, and the differences in texture and density of the moon cause the quote-unquote ringing. The moon is less dense than the Earth, which is another reason for the hollow moon theory, but some scientists believe this is because the moon was formed from the Earth's upper crust after a massive collision happened during the formation of the solar system. The upper crust is less dense than the rest of the planet, meaning the moon would also have less density. Finally, we come to the Fermi Paradox and what happened to the alien civilization in Moonfall. The Fermi Paradox basically says that if there are so many stars and planets out there, why haven't we come in contact or detected any kind of confirmed alien life in the universe? One theory as to why this is has to do with advanced technologies. The advanced tech required for interplanetary space travel is far beyond our current capabilities. We'll be lucky to have a small colony on Mars within the next few decades. We can't even begin to fathom sending humans to the far reaches of the solar system, let alone to the next closest star. By the time an alien race would have the technology to travel between stars, that same technology would have destroyed them. On Earth, some say that once we had the technology to create nuclear weapons, our days were already numbered. While that may or may not be true, AI is another concern, and that was the reason the alien civilization in Moonfall died off. The AI became so advanced, it turned self-aware and determined that the alien race was a threat to its existence, so it destroyed them. All in all, the bigger scientific ideas in Moonfall were about half right and half wrong. Once again, if you'd like us to make a more detailed video on everything wrong with the science in Moonfall, leave a like and a comment and we'll look into it once the movie is out of theaters. For now, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with someone who loves science fiction.